Lobbying is about foresight. About anticipating your opponent's moves and devising countermeasures. The winner plots one step ahead of the opposition and plays her trump card just after they play theirs. You better not be saying that when you're in there. It's about making sure you surprise them. And they don't surprise you. I'm gonna ask you again. Miss Sloan, could you please describe the nature of your work? On the advice of counsel, I respectfully decline to answer your question based on my rights under the Fifth Amendment to the United States Constitution. When you're not taking the oath or confirming details, those words in that order are all you're gonna say. This would be a whole lot easier if I could just shout fifth. They want you behind bars. You make one statement, you correct one nefarious allegation, that's it. You wave your right to the fifth and you're compelled to answer everything. They're taking you to the woodshed in front of the national press. They're gonna rile you so bad, they'd make Gandhi want to cut their tongues out. Did you arrange for benefits such as travel, luxury accommodations, and sports tickets to be furnished to members of Congress at the behest of your clients? Did you arrange for benefits such as travel, luxury accommodations, and sports Daniel. tickets to be for- When I take the stand, you'll see nothing but a granite wall. I think they would choose a more appropriate venue. Well, turns out the Nationals had a home game. Good morning. I am Senator Ronald Sperling, chair of this hearing. Ms. Sloan? Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under pains and penalties of perjury? I do. Not a driver? I can, but I don't. Well, you got further than me. I don't even have a license. What's your excuse? To be honest, I suck at it. I took my test when I was 16. Only exam I ever failed. My instructor told me I was reckless. I lacked due care and attention. Knew then and there I had a career in politics. Please sit. You were employed by Cole, Kravitz, and Waterman LLP for a 10-year period between 2006 and 2016 before moving on early. 11-year period. Excuse me? There are 11 years between 2006 and 2016. She's not predictable. She aims to surprise. She'll share things with her team, but she won't share everything. She'll have a plan for certain people, but they won't know until they're dropped right into the middle of it. There's always something else going on with her. It's just how she works. What was the nature of your work with Cole Kravitz and Waterman LLP? We're not connecting with the female voter. The gun lobby wants your support. Guns as tools of female empowerment. Is this the reputation I've garnered? Gold medalist in ethical limbo? I don't remember you caring ever about guns. My position solidified somewhere between Columbine and Charleston. Any head case, felon, or terrorist can buy an assault rifle from a gun show, the internet, or his buddy at the bowl o rama without so much as an ID. Upon the advice of counsel, I must respectfully decline to answer your question. Based on my rights under the Fifth Amendment, what do you know about the gun lobby's opponents? The Brady campaign? I know they're going to lose because their total budget is less than what the gun lobby pays to get their shoes shined. The Brady campaign wants you to lead the fight on gun control. You run defense out of our office. When it's over, you can choose from any of the DC behemoths lining up for your signature. It is within the remit of this hearing to establish whether Ms. Sloan has broken any laws. You're talking about blackmailing a United States senator. Find another way. Did you employ the tactics of espionage throughout your lobbying career? I must respectfully decline to answer your question. You intended to use methods such as bugging and tapping. Is this true? I must respectfully decline to answer your question based on my rights under the Fifth Amendment to the United States Constitution. You're fighting the richest group on the Hill. 
I work on behalf of causes I believe in. That's how I sleep at night. You can't possibly win this! We keep on fighting. And that's all we can do. I have a duty to the cause. So who's with me? You crossed the line. This is more important than my career. We have to make it personal. They will throw you in jail for contempt of Congress! There's over five million of us, and we're armed. I was hired to win. And there will only ever be one winner. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.